that's a little sis. How long have you had this? It's been almost two years. Okay. Yeah. years and I saw a little pumpkin there which I marked so I'm gonna try to remove that little area but to again like make sure nothing ever hurts it's pretty superficial right there so we're guarding ourselves it's pretty good so yeah just on the top of it you're okay right mm -hmm. Squeezing a lot of it out. It's like you got mashed potatoes in there. Ew. Sorry about that. Okay, there could be worse things in there. If there were like spiders that had a chance of coming on a cyst, I would, <laughs> I would never be removing them. <laughs> never. I mean, even if there was like, yeah, no, I'd be okay with hairs like this if I pull as well. Now people ghost up the hairs mm -hmm. if you, they're not on people. I'm gonna put a little more numbing around the edges, but now that I sort of popped it, I know that it's not gonna splash at me because it's already exposed. Let me just take off the little piece that I took off. You're doing great. We already we know it's a cyst for sure. We took the top off of it. Now the whole goal is to take the whole thing out, obviously, so it doesn't come back. And that can sometimes take longer than the actual sues. This is like the post-climactic period. <laughs> so just let me know if I'm pinching you, okay? Because I'm just okay. trying to tease away this, this wall and if you're not totally numb, then maybe you feel pinched. You can feel me touching you, but nothing should be sharp. Too, like when, like, uh, getting used more, mm. sharing and um, for surgeries, anyway, you yeah. know, yeah, people do some my stuff because <laughs> they realize it's good numbing, stuff. numbing again, a little on the side. Sorry, it's all pinched because I'm gonna numb my knee. Well, I think they're not using the fine stuff on bodies, mm -mm. that's the issue because it does dull. I feel like today's Friday. I've thought that multiple times. You do too? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not though. It's, it's better to be the opposite. It's more so you like it's well. Friday. Let me squeeze this a little bit. Let's see if I can. Get to the bottom of it, literally. She's, she's tough. She's not saying a word to something. Figuring she's okay, but mm -hmm. please, like I said, if you ever feel a little tug or something. Do you have any kids? I do. Or were they not? Were they like? Did they know about? Did they know about this? Did yeah. I hurt you? I didn't. Yeah, no. You. Okay. I was just. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. They do. My. Uh, are they grossed out about it, or they're okay with it? Uh, they're just. Mm -hmm. It's been it there for it so long. It's your mom. So yeah. <laughs> they don't care. Whatever, mom. Yeah. Little baby pincher. How old are they? My daughter is 23. Oh, she's there. Okay. Yeah, my son is 19. Okay. And my daughter just had a baby four weeks oh, ago. They're busy. Yeah. You're, so your first grandchild, you're so first young. Grandma, yeah. Oh, have, do you get to see a lot of her? I do, yeah, she just lives, she oh, lives about nice. 20 minutes away, so. That's fantastic then. Yeah. She's gonna feel, she doesn't know yet, she's gonna be, she's lucky. Yeah. Can you just put your arm a little to the side? Just, just because, like, yeah, so it doesn't stretch. Yeah, because of, because I think it stretches okay. this, so I, I pull on you more. Thank you. Just want to get this whole sack out. I think this is it. Okay. 
What is it? Is it a boy or girl? It's a little girl. Aww. Her name is Ronnie. Ronnie? Yeah. Is that short for something? Well, it's another family name, member or something? Yeah, Sounds after my like brother. It. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. I love names that can be, that are sort of like masculine and feminine. Like, yeah. I love Charlie, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, like I love like Jack or I don't know. Jack. Yeah, Jacqueline, I guess, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. I love those kinds of names. Yeah. Is that her full name too, Ronnie, or is it like a different? It's a it's or something? it's Veronica. Oh, that's so, cute. Um, yeah. So, um, my daughter and my brother were very close, and he passed away a few, uh, about six years ago. So, oh, my. oh, that's a nice little. Did you know about? Did you know that was going to be your name before? She told, um, before she was born. No, no, but she wanted to know because it was either gonna. She was either going to name her Ronnie or, um, you know, James after my dad. And, oh, goodness. Yeah. That's so, nice. Yeah. Very lucky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How's she doing? Is she recovering okay? She's it's doing so early. Early. She was. It, we're about four weeks in. Yeah. So she's, she's starting to, settle, starting into to settle, settle into it. Yeah, starting to figure it out more. And they think it's tough, though, and they don't even know. Not even yet. Yeah. <laughs> I took, like, ten days. Uh, well, no, seven days. A week off of work. Oh, that's when nice. she had the baby to go stay with her. Oh, fantastic. So she got a little break. You were like the nurse mom. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, just to kind of... So she can get a rest because it's exhausting. Just because yeah. you're all, you're all so exhausted. And then you got this baby that it's like a foreign thing in your house. You're like, what is this, this yeah. thing doing? Yeah. She was just... She, but she was awesome. She was amazing. She was... For, during travel, you mean everything? Yeah. Travel, it wasn't that tough, tough for her. She's no, tough, okay. Good for her. It just came real quick and... Wow, so it was it was not a tough trout birth either then. No, saying. she was just like, wait, you're gonna give really? me a right? Right? Oh, yeah. and they're like, no, nope, we're having a birthday party oh, right you're now. You're kidding me. So yeah. she was too late to do that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So then it couldn't. She couldn't even make that decision necessary. But that's in a way like that's so quick too. You know, it's gonna be over soon anyway. Yeah. So. But I'm yeah. sure that can be anxiety provoking a little bit too. But only for so long, I suppose, right? Yeah. But she's yeah. They're great. Good. Did you get to be there for a lot of it, or I was there for the whole thing. Oh my! Me and her uh, Good boyfriend. For you. Yeah, that's lovely. Yep. Awesome. So I'm just taking my time. We we'll pretty much have it all, but I have to double check now all the little nooks here, just to be sure. I kind of think that. Because if I leave a little bit of it, that makes it, you know, increase the risk of a chance of it coming back. It does. Mm-hmm. It's like tucked in here on the side. Which I was thinking about the England Donor, the whole little king salmon. Oh, yeah. Yes. I can't do it. But they also have them on their shirt. They have they like special. They're but yes, it is tiring. <laughs> they look heavy. Well, how about me? I think of that <laughs> and I'm like, well, how about me? I'm here standing over You're people standing for that long. Over here, yep. And they get to take breaks. Yeah, they just leave. And we're like, okay. Yeah, whatever. sometimes they leave when we're filming. Sometimes they leave and nobody's filming. I'm mm-hmm. like, well, I wish I could leave for a minute here. They're either just, over it or they need a break or whatever. Yeah. You know, or they feel like they have enough with that footage, I guess. But just making sure. Mm-hmm. Don't think there's something here. So it kind of crumbled a little bit on you, it's stuck to you. So I just try to make sure I get all the little pieces out. So I think conceivably, if you leave a piece, can you hold this back like this? You could potentially have it come back. I don't want that. Sometimes it'll just tear away, so if I pull out it too, it'll tend to like just pull off. I think a little bit of force needs to go again. That bit. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Just to get it again. That was 
is much better already right there. This part just comes back. Mary mad at it. <laughs> so sometimes too, um, Janet, when I ask you to avert things, I'm gonna ask you to avert, I'm like, see how you push up and you can see what goes on underneath? Yes. So sometimes we'll do that because we're trying to buzz like these little corners here okay. and I can't. So when I'm doing Moe's or something and I'm doing a repair, I'll go like this and like I'm telling you to do this. And what you're trying to do too is not be too forceful this way because if you pull on it, you can get a little notch on the side of their skin and the reason on the top of their skin, you know, the edge here. And mm -hmm. the reason you're using these hooks is to minimize trauma to the skin. So that's, so it's really like a lifting up, but also pulling out mainly. Okay. So you don't like, yank you don't want to have like a little notch here that looks pretty good okay let me just do a little i don't have very much here but a little cleanse here and nine just in case there's any fragments there that i can pull up you had a little ronnie too today <laughs> <laughs> So we'll put a little bandage on here, kind of like a pressure one that pushes on it, mm -hmm. just because there's sort of an empty space right there, you know, where the cyst was, and I don't want it to ooze in there because then it can take a little, it'll take a while for it to heal a little longer because it, you know, it'll fill up with like a little bit of blood or serum. Okay. So it's a kind of a puffier bandage, but maybe like today, if you're relaxing, try to lean against it, but for long durations, not up and down, just because it helps. It's like a pressure bandage, you know what I mean? Okay. It's like putting pressure on it a little bit. Um, but for mainly, keep that puffy bandage on for like uh, overnight, and then tomorrow you can take you can, you can take a shower most if you wish to, and okay. change it to a regular flat one. But we'll see you probably in 14 days to take the stitch out. I'm gonna put one of those running in, running in some particulars in. So take it easy. I'm putting like a, it's like a little bit of a weaker stitch on top because okay. it's only one stitch, but uh, it's the reason I'm doing that is so that you're less likely to have a, uh, have suture lines across it. Like it's uh, it, it gives, it looks more cosmetically nice because okay. you don't have like little track marks, we say, that can go across. So um, just be gentle with it, like, okay. like I tell you, there's no kickboxing or you know, anything that's going to like really strain on this or, you know, no like hammering with your left hand or something like that. Gotcha. Stuff that's going to jar it while the stitches are in, because they do stand for longer now because uh, they can and keep it, keep it strong. Okay, let that one go. Got everything looks good. Um, you can also do that whole, like how we've been doing those. Can you just hold that to the side? Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Um, we're doing this uh, stereo strip or something like a clock, you know, just to kind of keep it in so that it doesn't snag since it's behind her. We, might, we have like little bows on the end mm -hmm. and that's so that uh, we can remove this in, in two weeks. Okay. But uh, sometimes, you know, especially because it's behind you and you're quite busy with a little baby and stuff, that uh, if you could snag them, so we'll try to take them into place on them and just adjust them. Okay. Okay. Squeezed out. See how it's like a little bit of my yeah. potatoes. That's all just dead skin cells. All public. Kind of like looks like pulp, you know, when it gets like that. Yeah.